Why does my boy fail in every job? asked a puzzled father about his 30-year-old son. It was indeed difficult to understand the failure of this young man, for seemingly he had everything. Nevertheless, he had a tragic flair for failure. Everything he touched went wrong. He tried hard enough, yet somehow missed success. Presently, he found a simple but effective answer. Practicing this newfound secret, he lost the flair for failure. His personality began to focus, his powers to fuse. You amaze me, I commented. A few years ago, you were failing at everything. Now you've worked up an original idea into a fine business. You're a leader in your community. Please explain this remarkable change. Really, it was quite simple, he replied. I merely learned the magic of believing. I discovered that if you expect the worst, you're likely to get the worst. And if you expect the best, you're likely to get the best. It all happened through actually practicing a verse from the Bible. If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. In a flash of insight, I realized that the key I had missed was that my mind was not trained to believe, to have faith in either God or myself. I practiced your outlined techniques of faith. I trained myself to think positively. He smiled and said, God and I struck up a partnership. Then things began to change almost at once. I cultivated the habit of expecting the best, not the worst. And that is the way my affairs have turned out lately. I guess it's a kind of miracle, he concluded. But it wasn't miraculous at all. He had learned to use one of the most powerful laws in this world, ecology and religion, namely, change your mental habits to belief instead of disbelief. Learn to expect, not to doubt. In so doing, you bring everything into the realm of possibility. William James, the famous psychologist, said, Our belief at the beginning of a doubtful undertaking is the one thing that ensures the successful outcome of your venture. To learn to believe is of primary importance. It is the basic factor of succeeding in any undertaking. When you expect the best, you release a magnetic force in your mind, which by a law of attraction tends to bring the best to you. It is amazing how a sustained expectation of the best sets in motion forces which cause the best to materialize. Let me give you a suggestion. I guarantee it will work. Start reading the New Testament and notice the number of times it refers to faith. Select a dozen of the strongest statements about eyes, each one. Let these faith concepts germinate in your conscious mind. Say them over and over, especially just before going to sleep. By a process of spiritual osmosis, they will sink from your conscious into your subconscious mind and in time will re-slant your basic thought pattern. This process will change you into a believer, into an expector, and when you become such, you will in due course become an achiever. Things become better when you expect the best. For being freed from self-doubt, you put your whole self, your whole heart into your endeavor. Nothing can stand in the way of the man who focuses his entire self, his whole mind, on a problem. A famous trapeze artist was instructing his students on how to perform on the high trapeze bar. Then he told them to demonstrate their ability. One student looking up at the insecure perch upon which he must perform was suddenly filled with fear. He had a terrifying vision of himself falling to the ground. He couldn't move a muscle. So deep was his fright. I can't do it. I can't do it, he gasped. The instructor put his arm around the boy's shoulder and said, Son, you can do it and I will tell you how. Then he made one of the wisest remarks I have ever heard. He said, throw your heart over the bar and your body will follow. 
Write that one sentence on a card and put it in your pocket. Place it under the glass on your desktop. Tack it up on your wall. Stick it in your shaving mirror. Better still, write it on your mind. It's packed with power, that sentence. Throw your heart over the bar and your body will follow. It means throw your faith over your difficulty. Throw your affirmation over every barrier. Throw your visualization of success over your obstacles. In other words, throw the spiritual essence of you over the bar and your material self will follow in the victory groove thus pioneered by your faith-inspired mind. Expect the best, not the worst, and you will attain your heart's desire. It is indeed a fact that the person who thinks with positive self-reliance and optimism magnetizes his condition and he releases inner power that helps him to attain his goal. So the secret is expect the best at all times. Never even think of the worst. Drop it out of your thought. Relegate it. Let there be no idea in your mind that the worst will happen. Always entertain the concept of the best, never the concept of the worst. For whatever idea you take into your mind and hold there can grow and can materialize. Therefore, take the best about everything into your mind and only that. Make it your obsession. Expect the best and spiritually creative mind power aided by God power will produce the best.